And good morning, everyone. It's another episode of Raiders Thrive, and your team at STA is here. Crystal's here, Mr. Asiyama's here, and of course, I'm here. And as we begin every episode, we do a check-in. So how's everyone doing this week? I'm having a great week. <laughs> I'm just glad to go back to work. I'm glad that there's going to be a sense of normalcy, I think. And um, it was a short week, so... And the sun is shining, so that's great. And how about you, Mr. A? How are you doing? Oh, all is well. You know, it's like my brain is all over the place sometimes, but I'm trying and taking it one day at a time. Yes, I think I'm in the same boat with uh, all of you. I love that the sun is shining. Went for a nice walk with Molly just before we started, and it's still a bit fresh, but the sun, oh, just that the brilliance of the sun mm -hmm. just makes such a big difference. Yeah, taking it one day at a time. So today we're going to talk about how we are going back to school on Monday. Any an thoughts on that? Topic. Such an exciting topic. You know what? I think we've all been home for a while now and breaks are always good, right? But we know this one has been very different. So I'm actually excited to see all of you guys again. I agree. I think that, you know, I feel like this time around being home, I was so much more better equipped to deal with working from home. And I feel like, you know, it, I just kind of jumped right back into things and, and things just happened very, uh, it, it was just very fluid. However, uh, I feel like, you know, I'm super excited to just wake up and put on jeans and have a place to drive. And, you know, it just, I, I feel like there's some normalcy on the horizon and I'm very excited. Like, I'm very excited to, you know, be, be somewhere and have somewhere to be. I, I agree with you guys. It's not, it'll be nice to be at the school. Some, a little taste of normalcy. But I, I will admit, um, you know, I, I learned from the spring uh, when when this when we all went in lockdown in the spring, I felt like, you know, we go from full life at school and, and after school programs and sports and all that to a sudden stop. And we all adjusted. And I just felt like any connection to the school got lost. So I, I have this mental image that comes to mind when I think about how we experienced the spring. And it's like, we were all just suddenly lost at sea. We lost yeah, a connection. Totally. Whereas, whereas this time uh, I was prepared for it. And so I started the morning, you know, live broadcast kind of bring us all together. And that was great. It got me starting the day well and properly with everyone. And I got used to this. I would wake up early. I would exercise. I do my, my little, you know, pre prep before the show. And, and now I find, oh, okay, now I have to adapt again to an, another routine. And so, you know, it's getting tiring. You know, things are always changing. We, we, we need predictability and we're, we're just getting short-term predictability. And so I, I find it's, I mean, it's good. It'll be good to be back to school, but it's just, okay, now, now how will our day look? How will the routine look? You know what I think, um... It's difficult, you know, I think that's what we're trying to talk about today. Just the challenge of having to constantly pivot, you know, restructure our lives at home. I could sense that everybody's dealing with these kind of changes, rapid changes, if anything, right? Um, mm. Sudden changes that are just kind of coming because of, you know, various things that are happening in and around the world. And I know some students are not even coming back to school on Monday, but I think, you know, really um, just kind of speaks to the heaviness that we're all feeling, right? In terms of just having mm. to sometimes suddenly respond to all these stimulus that are happening around us right not really getting much time to prepare like we're there then boom we're back to school on monday you know we're just supposed to throw our clothes on and get right back at it so yeah i think it's super important to talk about that this like all the other transitions that we've been going through is going to be another one that is going to you know take some time getting back to it so today's thursday start getting your sleep routine back together start For you know sure. preparing yourself i think it's all preparation if you really want to deal with any change preparation and just kind of getting your mindset back on getting back into that routine. And I hope that, yes. you know, it's not as difficult as the first one we went through. 
Yeah. M maybe put your uniform in the laundry and freshen it up, you know, ready for Monday. <laughs> Get your bag ready. Bag Start mapping ready. out your, your lunch, yeah. you know, know your classes, know where you need to be. I think that those are yeah. all great ways to get back into the swing of things right um you know with high school you're you're there for the morning you're not necessarily there for the afternoon you got your two classes or your one class you're in the one room i i think that you know those those are um you know simple planning ahead i think is great i think even for like elementary schools there might be a little bit more of a challenge because they're together all day and mm -hmm. they go for recess and they um, have to wear their masks at recess, right? So there's a lot of challenges and, and, and changes for, for both students in, in elementary and high school. But I feel like it's so important to stress and we say this all the time and we sound like a squeaky wheel, but you know, it's so important to remember that, you know, we have people here that are here to support you. Um, we are all flying by the seat of our pants. We are all just figuring things out as we go. So don't ever feel like so overwhelmed that you can't approach somebody and, and, and just express those those frustrations, those concerns, uh, because they are valid, right? Like you're now coming back to a new quad. There are students in the IB program who, you know, they're going to have a quite a heavy load this, this quad. Yes, um, yeah. and that's going to be really challenging for students to just kind of, you know, um, find that balance and, and, you know, figure out how you're going to kind of get through this with the limited, um, school interactions and, and stuff that you have, like in school, you, you know, you can put your hand up and ask a question in front of everybody. But, you know, if you're only in, in class for a couple of hours, that's a challenge, you know, um, exams, prepping, you guys just did culminating those are all challenges and and so it's figuring out ways to kind of navigate and and get through that and you let's not for, well let's not forget the added uh the new protocols where all staff and all students have to do that uh check-in you know with the barcode oh, right. yeah right, to make sure yes. that they're healthy so that yes. has to be done that is not an option so, yes. and I know admin and whatever staff can, will be asking those questions to every student coming in. We, we don't know how that's gonna look. Every student and staff, like we have to do yes. that as well. We are not allowed in the building if we don't um, that's do right. that as well. It's everybody. So we can do it before you leave for the school or you can do it just before you enter the building. You see, even as I'm hearing about this and I know other people are probably feeling the same way, and I still need to learn more about the barcode, right? But we have two days, you have today and tomorrow, and then you have the weekend yes. to think about it and know exactly what to do. But even easier, ask questions. Because I know yeah. the moment this seg segment finishes, I'm gonna do my research and find out the right answer. So really, I think, you know, we have to understand that this is, we're going through another transition once again, but you're not doing it alone. We are all going through it together. And it's yeah. so important for us to have that and put that in front of us because this is when you have to ask the most questions, get the clarity that you need. And then all that does is helps you with the anxiety that we're dealing with. It's not gonna take it all away, right? But it yeah. helps you with it. And I think yeah. I just wanna I just wanna quickly emphasize too that, you know, this is gonna be a time where everybody is going to have to exercise the most patience ever because you guys and us we are going back to school on monday and we don't know what we're going into right so i know that the schools are also tr trying to figure out how are we going to make sure that every single person has filled out the the form or done the form so you know the 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 admin especially like they're they're in charge of the school and and safety and stuff like that so we need to exercise patience knowing that they too um, have a lot that they need to kind of learn and navigate and make sure that they're doing all of the things that they need to do. So exercising that patience, but also like Mr. A said, be prepared, have your, have your, your stuff ready, make sure you have your sanitizer, have your mask on, be at school on time, knowing that there's going to be a little bit of a delay in the morning. Um, these are all things that are going to help you. Yes. Yeah, so, you know, I was going to say uh, the same thing. This is a time for patience. Mm -hmm. We're going to need a lot of patience, a lot of forgiveness, because some people are, you know, it's going to be stop and start or figuring it out, or you're going to ask a question and it'll be like, let me get back to you. Let me just ask them in office or 
you know, so we have to have a lot of patience. Uh, and here's an image to maybe help you think about, because I work in images. For those who play instruments, right? The, the violin or even the, the guitar, the sound of the string comes when you stretch it and it gets stressed. And, and you know, when, 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 when you're playing the violin, I'm trying to find, figure out what the, my arms are. You know, when you play the violin, that bow pushes the strings and it's that pulling and, and pushing and that stress of the string that brings out the music. So as we're being stretched and pulled and, you know, constant patience, it's that patience and that forgiveness that makes the music. Right, it's it's what helps the community go through, and I will add a sense of humor, right? Mm -hmm. And it's still there are still some things to be grateful for. We are in February. I don't know if you've noticed, but the sun is out a little longer each yes, day, so we're getting longer daylight hours. We're, you know, we have what the first day of spring is like March twenty first or the summer equinox, whatever it's yeah. called. Yeah, yeah. And we're in February, so we are now on the other side of winter. And, right? and we are officially halfway done school. Yes, and we're halfway done right? school. We're halfway so, there. You, you did half of it, so. You know, there, there are pluses. I mean, it's not enough to remove the isolation and the pandemic and the virus is still raging and we've got the variants to worry about. But it's not all doom and gloom. It's not all bad. It's not all, oh. You know, there are some pluses and we're going to see each other. And for those of you in cohort A and B, you're going to see us in the building, in person and not always through a screen. Yeah. For cohort C, you know, you're going to see us on a screen. But at least it gets us moving towards whatever the end thing. is, yeah. you know, whatever the end is going to look like. Yeah. Yeah. Any final thoughts? Any final? Uh, you got this. We can, we can do it. We will do it. Yeah. And I'm super excited to see everybody on Monday. So take your time, get a good weekend sleep. Yes. And let's get, let's get it going again. And if you need any further advice, we have 24 other Raiders Thrive videos full of the same sort of advice. And so, you know, feel free to peruse through the playlist and hopefully something or more than one thing that we say helps you get through and, you know, keep fighting for another day. That's All it. right. Take care, everyone, and we'll Thank see you next you. week.